Alrighty, guys. So I went ahead and, um, oh, excuse me. I went ahead and finished writing my to-do list. It's actually a couple hours later from when I wrote my to-do list. I did my to-do list. I had lunch and then I started working and it's like, girl, I'm supposed to be filming. So let me read you this to-do list and I can tell you what I've already done. I've only done one thing on the to-do list, but I will read to you the to-do list. So I'll just tell you guys, like, I'm not going to read you the all the list for every single day. I'll just tell you what's on the agenda for today. And we are going to get everything checked off. So what I need to do today is I'll also, like, pop it on the screen. Um, I want to complete the emails that needs to go out today and Tuesday. Um, I did already schedule the email to go out today. Um, the email that's going out today is um, about our denim shorts, just kind of like different ways that you can sell our denim shorts for summer and fall, because y'all know fall is around the corner, but it's still hot. So um, you can still buy summer stuff. And so I just wanted to just, you know, I want to be able to show, because I'm still going to be promoting summer stuff. So just showing how you can transition your summer stuff to fall. So that's that and then so I did that already I did the email for today I still need to prepare the email for Tuesday though um, I also need to schedule Pinterest pins for the week um, I need to film a video and then film any TikToks that need to be filmed um, and then plan the post for like the week like plan out my social medias plan out my Instagrams and all of that because I've been kind of slacking on um the rest of my social medias as far as tiktok and instagram i've kind of just been bare minimum posting so i kind of just want to get back on posting i really would like to grow my instagram like it just sucks that my instagram is just stuck like it just i'm just like do i start over or what because i feel like i'm posting for no reason at this point but i'm just gonna continue to post for no reason and then i don't know maybe one day one of them will blow but that's just that um and then as far as just like personal stuff um like non-business stuff that i need to do is i want to clean up clean all the fruits for this week and then i also want to cook them uh, i need to cook the meals for this week or not the meals but <clears throat> the meal prep the lunches for this week so we're having the same thing we've had the last two weeks which is sweet potatoes um excuse me sweet potatoes chickpeas and um kale so I just need to like wash the kale, wash the sweet potatoes, dice those up and put that stuff in the oven or put the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas in the oven and then just cook the kale down. So it's not going to take that long. It's probably going to take like mm, about an hour and a half. The longest part will be washing and cutting up the potatoes. Um, and so, yeah, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just wanted to come in and let you guys know that I did complete the two list and I started working, but I forgot to film. <laughs> So, yes, the time is 2.45, so it's still pretty early in the day. Like, I still have time to do stuff. What I'm about to do right now is um, me and Jamal are about to go drive by this other pop-up that's on Sundays or it's every other Sunday. Um, and I just want to see, like, what the crowd is like just to see if I want to sign up for it because it is, like, a reoccurring pop-up. So, um, that's why I just, before I sign up, because the vendor fee is $100. And so, before I would sign up for it, I just want to see what the crowd is like, um, so I'm about to just take a break from working and drive over to that pop-up. Um, it's not too far from my house. Um, and just kind of like walk around, see what vendors are there, see what the crowd is like. If it looks like, you know, the crowd, if it looks like it's really busy or it looks like, you know, the crowd that's there is tailored toward what my target audience is, then I will think about signing up. But if it looks like dead and it looks like it's not gonna be worth it then i'm not gonna sign up because like i said that pop-up is from nine to five so it's like an all-day thing i don't have all day to just be sitting at a pop-up if i ain't gonna make no money okay so i just need to know is it a potential for me to make money or not before i waste a hundred dollars sit there all day and don't make no money so yes i just did a whole bunch of rambling for nothing but i will come back when i am working Swag, oh, you a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy, so drippin' swag, ooh. Oh, you a bad girl and your 
friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, so she took the swag too. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, so she took the swag too. Hey guys, so just an update on today. So it is the time is currently 7:51. I believe the last thing I filmed was me. Um, TV I always like to make noise. Uh, the last thing I filmed was me washing the fruit and stuff. So I did that. I washed all the fruits so as far as like our to do list for today. I did go ahead and wash the fruit. I did go ahead and meal prep the the lunch i didn't show me meal prepping the lunch because i showed me making the lunch in like a different vlog um and since i make the same thing like i didn't want to show it twice um so yeah so i meal prepped the lunch so that can get checked off also did um like i said clean all the fruits and vegetables so everything is clean for the week so that's done and then let me um pull out my planner real quick so I can see what else we have done. Oh, another thing. I'm going to move around some stuff. So technically we can cross it off because it's not me not doing it. It's just me not no longer needing to do it. Um, so as far as making the TikToks, I got back home too late to actually make any new TikToks. So I'm just going to reuse old TikToks that I've had and just, you know, like, you know, change them up, put a different sound, maybe edit them a little different instead of making new ones. So we're just going to cross that off as done and then um filming the video also i did not film a video today but we are just going to like i have some other videos uh, a vlog that i was gonna put up next week sunday but i think i might just put that vlog up to on tuesday uh, i just didn't want to do a bunch of vlogs back to back with me posting three days a week um but i just can't decide on a video that i want to film i was gonna film a like where to find vendors online video but i already did a video like that and so i don't really want at first i was like i can just refilm it and like add some new stuff but I honestly just don't feel like doing all of that like i'm just not into it i feel like the first video i filmed of the first the first time he filmed it i felt like i did a great job explaining it so there's not really much more for me to like go through so yeah i kind of didn't feel like doing that and then i was going to do another video on like my top five shopify apps but i already did a video on that so i'm just like i don't i have to actually rewatch that video to see if there's any other apps besides those ones like that i like um because i don't really i don't think i've used any like you know a bunch of new apps since then so um yeah so i'm just like i'm kind of struggling when it comes to video ideas so i'm like if worse come to worse i would just put up the vlog that was supposed to go up on sunday just do two vlogs back to back because i do have a vlog filmed i just haven't edited it yet but editing day is tomorrow anyway so or i was trying to decide if i should wake up earlier tomorrow and do like a morning routine um but I don't know if I want to do that either I just wouldn't want to do that like just not on a Monday like I can't wake up because if I'm filming a routine type video it would have to be on a Monday and I would have wanted to like go to sleep early today just to make sure like I'm not tired in the morning so I just don't know if that would be in the cards for a Monday I do have that on, as one of the video ideas that I would like to film but I just don't know if it's going to be for right now. I feel like that's going to be a video for when we move into our new house. And it's a new space. Because y'all know right now, like, my space is all a mess. So, I don't know. Um, so, film the video. We're going to cross that off because I'm going to use the older video. As far as filming TikToks. Again, I'm going to cross that off because I'm using old TikToks. So, I cooked the meals for the week. I cleaned the fruits. Um... So, I also completed the email for today. So, the only thing I need to do is um, create an email for Tuesday and schedule my Pinterest pins and then just plan my post for TikTok and Instagram. So, we're just going to knock those three things out. Like I said, it's 7.55. I really would like to be done by 9 o'clock. Like, I really want to be asleep by 9 o'clock. So, we have to just really work hard. 9.30 at the absolute latest so let's just work hard and get those three things knocked off so we can go to bed and be done for the night so yeah let's get to it yeah. 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 
that masterpiece, no limit, baby. Can you get that black car? No limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. Niggas say, uh, no limit. I see murder, murder that. No limit, baby. Can you get that ghetto D, girl? No limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. So if you've never been, girl, I would just love to take you there. You don't have to worry about a thing. I gotta let me show you better than. I look a little cray cray because it's the end of the night. It's about, I guess like eight something um, at night. Um, only thing I really had on the agenda today is Monday, by the way. I don't even know if I said it. Today is Monday. We did everything we needed to do yesterday. I didn't film me finishing up the stuff from yesterday just because my camera died um and so obviously while i was charging i was working on the stuff so um but i did finish um the stuff that was on my to-do list yesterday so today is um today is monday the only thing i really had on my to-do list for monday was to work out um i typically like to keep my mondays pretty light just because um it's the first day back at work and i really don't be feeling like doing much you know just start the week off light so i just wanted to work out and then obviously if i would have felt like doing more i would have done more but i don't feel like it okay um um today i was just tired all day today um so yeah today was not I ain't doing nothing besides working out, which is all I wanted to do. Anyway, tomorrow, I actually have off tomorrow, so which is usually not in the plans, but I have off tomorrow, um, which is Tuesday, so I will do a little bit, like, you know, a little bit more work tomorrow than, like, typical, just because I have off, so I'm going to utilize the time, so I'm probably still going to wake up early as if, like, I had to go in, not as early as I go in, because I've been waking up at 5 o'clock when I go in, so i probably get up at around, like, 6, 6.30 tomorrow, just to kind of get, you know, an early start to the day, but, um, like, you know, not as early, but just, like I said, get my day started early, just start being productive early. Um, I have to go see our new apartment at 10 tomorrow, excuse me, which is why I have off work tomorrow. So, like I said, I probably just get up early, um, do some work, work on my store a little bit, um, and then go see our new apartment. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to check in for today. I know I didn't really talk to y'all much today. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we have a busy day. I'll let you guys know the to-do list tomorrow once tomorrow is here. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. So today is Tuesday morning. It is, what time is it? 8.56. I actually woke up super early today. As you guys know, I think I told you yesterday that I took off work today. Um, and I still woke up at like 6 o'clock or actually at like 5.50 something like it's ridiculous um I thought I was gonna sleep in I didn't but I did kind of go to sleep early too so I don't know but yeah so I got up at 6 um and then I kind of just laid on the couch for a little bit and then I ended up just getting up around like 7 ish so I've been up for a while um I actually was finishing up the vlog that's going up today i've been doing so good with getting my three videos up a week i'm so happy the vlog that's going up today is actually an old vlog well y'all would have seen it by now but it was an older vlog it was a after work um i don't know if y'all can see it was an after work vlog there we go so it was an after work um routine vlog that video is actually an older video um i filmed it back in june um you probably can tell because i had my um twist in for when i was you know back then i still was trying to dread my hair or whatever so it was back from june and i filmed it but then i never posted it just because at first i'm like oh i didn't really do as much as i wanted to do this night and i wanted it to be like a really long after work super productive video yada 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 but then i'm just like it's reality not every day after work am i just just really hitting the ground running doing a bunch of stuff and i did do a lot of stuff it's just everything i did took a lot of time like editing the video i had to work my second job like you know what i mean like so i'm just like forget it so the video i think is only like 14 minutes so it is a little shorter but it's still just like you know taking you through the night with me let me know if you guys like that 
video hopefully you guys do and then i can film you know more like night routine or just spend the evening with me type videos because i mainly just do like spend the day with me or you know a weekly vlog where i just vlog bits and pieces like i really don't vlog the evening too much i typically just vlog during the day um but yeah so hopefully you guys really enjoyed that video i'm proud of myself for just deciding to still put it out even though it's freaking that was june two months later i decided to put it out but still i'm like i needed a third video i needed another video for this week so why not just put that video out so that video is going out today so we'll see how it does my goal is to get 100 views within the first day so that's always the goal um and yeah um and then i need to today so the agenda for today um i need to at 10 o'clock we have to go see our new apartments to finalize like which unit we're going to take and just do like a walkthrough of the actual unit so we're going to do that at 10 o'clock um and then once we get back from that i'm probably going to make lunch and then i will um start working and today i want to well i need to finish i'm just all over the place job <laughs> clearly y'all can tell so i really want to like I started planning for the week but then like my plans kind of changed so now I kind of want to change up what I planned on posting this week so I kind of just want to kind of get get all that together I really want to work on my email flows um, as well as I need to finish filming my video for Thursday so Thursday's video is going to be a how to stop being ways to stop getting out of my lazy girl era basically so it's just tips that I'm doing to stop being lazy and just start being more, getting shit done, executing more, having more discipline. And so I need to finish filming that video and probably start editing it today if possible. Because I know it's probably going to take a minute to like edit it because the clips are kind of all over the place. That video is shouldn't be too long. I feel like that video is probably only going to be like 15 or so minutes long as well. Um, but, you know... It is what it is um so yeah so i'm gonna start rambling i just wanted to start the day and just say hey for the day uh, i may take y'all to my new apartments when we go i'm not sure because i don't really i don't know if i want to show y'all like where i'm gonna be staying you know but i don't know we'll see but i for sure i'll talk to y'all later when i am like actually doing some work because like i said i'm gonna just chill because we're gonna be leaving in about like 30 minutes or so so I'm about to just chill and relax and I will talk to y'all a little bit later. Hey guys, sorry if it's kind of loud. I have the um, dishwasher going. So <clears throat> just want to give y'all an update on everything. So um, we went and we picked out our unit. So we're actually going to get the unit that we toured um, like a month and a half ago. When we initially decided we wanted to go with the property. At first, um, the unit that we have reserved was a different unit it was the same like style of unit but it was different so we ended up going with the one that we actually toured when we first moved in uh, we didn't realize it was the one we toured until we got there we're like oh wait a minute we already saw this but i love how that layout is um we today we went and looked at two different um two different layouts that had the special pricing and <clears throat> that had that were newly renovated because they had about five different units with special pricing or like some type of discounted pricing um but not all of them were newly renovated so only two of them were newly renovated so we went and looked at the two that were newly renovated um and then like i said the first one we went and saw um that one was okay hopefully y'all can see me <clears throat> turn the light on okay that's better so the first unit that we saw that one was okay like the layout downstairs is the same it was just the upstairs was a little different um it had two closets like it was like the room and then it was just two closets like uh like two separate closets and then like a random space in the middle of that so i guess you could put like a cute little decorative thing or something i don't know but it, to me it just seemed like waste of space and it was like i don't like when excuse me i don't like when apartments have two small closets in the master bedroom i'd rather just have one big closet um and then it also did not have like an extra closet space or anything like that so the apartment the unit that we're going with which is the one that we actually toured a month and a half ago 
um, in the master bedroom it has one big walk-in closet so I'm like that's perfect because <clears throat> I'm gonna put all my stuff in the master bedroom closet and then Jamal is gonna put all his stuff in the second bedroom's closet so I wanted the master bedroom closet to be big you know like the two small closets that wouldn't have worked like all my stuff wouldn't have fit in there so but the big walk-in closet all of my stuff <clears throat> all of my stuff will fit in there i could even put like if i needed the extra room put um some shelving or something like at the bottom like because it's like a big bar around it's kind of hard to explain like i probably show it to y'all like eventually at some point once i like start decorating it and stuff but so yeah and then we have like an extra closet upstairs it's like outside of the bedroom like in the hallway like an extra hallway closet which is really nice and then um like we have like other storage like hallway storage um like these cabinets you open up and it has like shelves and stuff so we probably will put like all of our towels and our sheets and like extra cover and all of that stuff in there and then there's storage in the bathroom as well so in the bathroom storage i probably would just put like um obviously the bathroom cleaning supplies and just put um what else i'll put in there like just extra tissue so we can always have extra tissue in the bathroom and just like my face wash and all of that type of stuff so that'll go in the bathroom so <clears throat> yeah so that's pretty much that's that for so we have our official unit locked in and we're moving in on friday like well we get the keys on friday we're not gonna move into saturday but i'm like that's a week early like we're supposed to be moving next week and we're moving this week and and we get special pricing like it's um about 250 dollars cheaper the base rent is about 250 dollars cheaper than what we would have been paying um like with the unit that we chose the pricing is like 250 dollars cheaper that's like the special as well as we don't have to like we get august free so you know we're moving in friday so it's still like two weeks left of august so we get august free we don't have to pay rent until september so the only thing we're paying when we're moving in is just like the security deposit so peppers the security deposit and then peppers security deposit so that's basically it um and we're also going to <clears throat> excuse me we also are going to be renting a garage um monthly which is why I wanted like our base rent to be as less as possible because I know there's always extra fees when it comes to these apartments. There's some other type of fees. There's, you know, like it just be random fees like Pepper's Pet Fee and all of that stuff. So um, we are going to be renting a garage with this unit, um, which is nice because that we have the option to be able to get a garage and they have a garage that's, hold on one second okay i'm back um but i don't know where i left off but the point i wanted to come on here and tell y'all is that i'm so excited that we're moving and i just wanted to just like i'm just so thankful y'all god is so freaking good so i just wanted to tell y'all if y'all are not if you don't have a relationship with god you need to make one today okay like god is so freaking good like not only did i was i able to get the apartment that i really wanted like we wanted this apartment we got the exact same unit that we saw so that's the unit that we fell in love with so because i would have kind of been a little upset if we would have had to like if our unit that we held would have looked like not like the unit that we're getting like i would have been a little upset but so we got the unit that we wanted we're getting a garage we got it for 250 dollars cheaper so now our so now it's like under budget than what we wanted because initially like uh, our budget the top of the budget was initially $2,800. I really wanted to find something for $2,600 or lower between the $2,400 and $2,600 range. But we weren't really finding anything like that was that we liked. All the stuff that we liked were between $2,600 and $2,800. This initial, the apartment that we initially had on hold was $2,945. So it was like way over budget of the highest max budget which was $2,800. And we got it on sale. Well, the special price that we have it with that we got it locked in with is twenty six ninety nine. So basically twenty seven hundred. So which is under budget because like I told y'all my initial max budget was twenty eight hundred. So it's under our max budget, and we have we're able to get a garage. So that's amazing. It's upstairs downstairs like this 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 unit is just perfect for us and we're able to sign we're gonna sign an 18 month lease which is perfect because that's another thing that I really wanted was somewhere where we could sign a long-term lease because I'm not the type of person that just be moving all the time I don't like moving okay moving is stressful it's just doing it's just a lot like I don't like moving I want to be somewhere 
and just stay like i don't want to have to move unless i absolutely have to like the reason we're moving here is because one we need more space and we just want a better area the place that that's why i was good i was okay with us going over budget at that place because it was in a better area and it had a ton of space but now the fact that i get the apartment that i want and i'm not over budget like we're under budget it's just like god is just so good and we get august free i don't know if i told y'all that already but we get the rest of august free so it's like at first you know i was like dang you know when moving it's a lot of like it's a lot of cost because you have to usually you're moving in before your old lease is up so you're paying the double rent you're paying all the security deposits all of the i have a pet so then it's just like extra pet deposit extra pet rent it's just all these extra costs with moving is so freaking expensive which is why i don't like moving so just to know that like the we're literally moving into this apartment for so freaking cheap like so much stuff was waived because of like the specials and stuff like god is just so freaking good like i'm just so freaking happy like we got we're moving in for so cheap we got a super good deal on the rent like our rent is going to be well it's not cheap because it's still expensive but it's within our budget now so we're not like over budget we're not like you know feeling like well don't be spending too much you know what i mean like we still are like we're good like we're extra good now before we were like mm now we're extra good because the rent is cheaper you know so like i'm just so 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 blessed i cannot wait to get over there i cannot wait to get there now this apartment isn't like you know like it doesn't have all the bells and whistles um like i said it doesn't i don't know if i told y'all before but it doesn't have a washer and dryer so we will have to go to the laundry man but there is laundry on site like there's the lawn they have a couple different laundry areas around the property and there's a laundry area like right behind our property or behind our actual unit which is perfect and like i said we got a garage and the garage was open because we did tour some places that came with the garage but a lot of them didn't have any garages available it was kind of like they didn't have enough for all the units so it was like first come first serve or it wasn't like a personal garage like it would be like garage doors but you would be kind of like sharing garages like and so we get our own personal garage the garage is really deep so it's gonna fit both my car plus jamal's motorcycle and it has like shelving area in the garage like it's nothing special like you know what i mean it's just a basic ass garage but i like the fact that it's super deep and it has like extra storage area um so that way I will be able to store all of my pop-up shop stuff because right now I have like my tent that needs to go somewhere. It's just sitting in our apartment, in our living room. My tent from, I mean, it's not like put up or nothing. I know it's like small, but we have my tent for my pop-up shop. I have a ton of stuff in my, um, ton of stuff in my trunk that I usually just stay, that just stays in my trunk for pop-ups. I have tables and just all extra displays and a bunch of just pop-up stuff in my trunk because we don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, I have, we have like an outside storage area uh, with this unit on our balcony. So I have like other extra pop-up stuff in there. I have like um, our Christmas tree, Christmas decorations, all that stuff is out there. And so just to know that we're still going to have a place to put that stuff, like we're not going to have to like put that stuff in the house because we have the garage stuff. So I'm probably just going to put that stuff in a box or put that stuff in a container and then it'll just be in the garage like, you know, as this is the stuff for the garage area. Um, so I'm just I'm just so I'm just so freaking happy. Um i'm just so 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 happy like i'm just this is like i feel like the best apartment for us again it's two bedroom ideally three bedroom would be the best possible outcome but for a two bedroom this one is the best two bedroom we've had because like i said it's upstairs downstairs like basically i have the whole downstairs to do whatever i want so we have a ton of space when i'm filming like i feel like i'm just gonna be able to film so much more just because i have so much more space i won't have to be like in jamal's way he ain't gonna be in my way like and like i just love it like even our actual unit is kind of like secluded it's not like a lot going on compared to where we live now. I can just open the door and like there's grass to be able to take pepper out. Like it's, I don't have to go down the elevator and do all of that stuff. Not that I don't want to complain because like I said, I'm, I'm grateful for this unit and like, you know, the time that I spent here, I'm going to do like a whole video on like moving and cause it's almost three years in California. So I wanted to do like, you know, kind of just like my experience in California. I wanted to film the video before we moved. But since we're moving now, like, I don't know if I'm going to have time to film it. Like, oh, my God. 
<laughs> but it'll be up before this video is up so y'all would have already like seen like more like it should be up before this video is up so y'all should have would have already seen more about the moving and all of that stuff so yeah i'm just so excited i don't know for sure if i'm gonna do like an apartment tour or anything like that i might do like an empty apartment tour because i feel like empty apartment tour might not be as bad as like furnished like y'all don't need to see every little thing know where every little thing is at so like but if it's empty it's just an empty ass space like what y'all gonna do with that come rob me for the for the emptiness like try if you want to shoot but um yeah so i'm trying to decide if i want to do an empty apartment tour like i said i get the keys on friday i've been talking for seven minutes i'm so sorry y'all this is like a long ass talking clip but i get the keys on friday so i got a lot of shit to do like this is turning into a fucking moving vlog this wasn't supposed to be a moving vlog it was supposed to just be a regular ass weekly vlog well it was just supposed to be a regular vlog like it wasn't supposed to be a moving vlog but this is going to turn into a moving vlog because we about to be doing some moving shit so um i need to go to u-haul so that's what i'm finna do now um i'm about to just go to u-haul and buy a couple boxes and like reserve a u-haul for saturday just to make sure that we have one available for saturday um just in case anybody else is moving this weekend as well so yeah that's what i'm about to do and then just come home i probably i don't know for sure if i'm gonna start packing tonight um because we don't really have that that much to pack but yeah i know it's gonna be like these next couple of days where i'll be packing so i want to get a, a little bit of work done so if i do pack it'll be later like i said like later on tonight i really want to take full advantage of having today off so it's 12 38 so yeah i'm probably just gonna sit and i'm i'm going to um I'm going to go to U-Haul and then come home and do a little bit of work. I do want to go to the gym today as well. Like, I need to I need to use our uh, freaking amenities while I still got them. Shoot, I need to be using this gym while I still got it. Shoot. Um, even though the new place does have a gym, so I'm going to have to ask her about, like, getting the key fob and all of that stuff to be able to utilize the gym because the new place does have a gym. So I do want to um, utilize the gym for the new place. Um... But yeah, I'm just so freaking excited. Like, I'm just so blessed. Like, God is just so good. It's like, ugh, to think we're about to move into our new apartment. Like, and we got it for a super great deal. Like, and it was an 18-month lease. Like, literally all the things that I was looking for. The space, the leasing terms, the long-term lease, the affordability. We have a garage. Like, it's, it's pet-friendly and it's like an amazing area. Like i'm just so freaking excited i just know so many great things are gonna happen in this apartment like i'm just so happy so i'm gonna stop talking because this was just like if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i really appreciate like you watching and like i just appreciate every every everything like i appreciate everything um i'm just gonna end the vlog off here because i don't want this vlog to be super duper long because i want to be able to film the moving process so i'm gonna end the vlog off here and the next few vlogs will be moving vlogs where it shouldn't be that many it'll probably only be like one maybe two vlogs of like you know moving um so i'm just super excited and i'm just like thank you guys for watching all of my videos thank you guys for all of your support if any of you guys are praying for me thank you guys for your prayers like i'm just like so grateful for you guys i'm just so grateful for everything like i'm just so grateful for life like oh like god is so good life is so good like so just want to end the vlog off here the next couple of vlogs that you will see will be moving vlogs so i hope you guys are ready because it's about to be new fresh content um it's just gonna be elevated content like i said it's gonna be just so much greatness it's just gonna happen in this new apartment like i'm just claiming it like i just know that i'm about to elevate i'm about to soar i'm about to reach new levels okay new freaking levels it's about to be a whole new me better me evolves me greater me like I'm claiming it okay so thank you guys for watching this video again thank you guys for all of your continued support make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next one peace out